In this video, I'll explain all of the settings inside Keywords Everywhere so you can properly conserve on credits and better understand what all of the settings mean. So let's get started. Okay, so I first want to touch on credits because it's important that you understand what they mean. So I'm going to click on the FAQ page and click on metrics and credits. Now I'm going to scroll down to how do credits work? So this is how they work. Whenever Keywords Everywhere gets volume data for a single keyword, one credit will be used up. All right. And a credit will be used up irrespective of whether the keyword has any search volume. So for example, when you are doing a search on Google with the Keywords Everywhere extension turned on, you'll notice the keywords in the widgets on the right hand side. So each one of these keywords are taking up one credit. So for the trending keywords widget, there are nine keywords. So nine credits are taken up by this widget. And the same goes for these other widgets as well. So for the related keywords widget, six credits are being used up. And for the people also search for widgets, there are uh, 40 credits being used up, including the keywords that have zero search volume. Now, one of the simplest ways to conserve on credits is to basically turn off the Keywords Everywhere extension. So you can turn off the extension by toggling this button right here. So right now it's on, but you can toggle it off. So Keywords Everywhere will no longer be on and no credits will be used up. Now, I also want to touch on this drop down menu right here. You can see a number of countries and also global. So this is where you can decide where you want that keyword level data to come from. So for example, the search volume for all of these keywords right here, right now it's currently for the US. So this is the US search volume. You can click on the drop down and get search volume from the UK, South Africa, or even global as well. So this is completely your preference. Now let's move on to more of the settings. Okay, so when you click on the Keywords Everywhere browser extension and click on settings, this will take you to the settings page. This is where you add your API key to use the tool. To get the API key, you need to click on get free API key, enter your email and Keywords Everywhere will email you the API key that you will copy and paste right here. Now this country dropdown is exactly the same as the dropdown right here as well. And you can also determine what type of currency you want to show within the widgets. Right now, the default is the United States dollar, as you can see um, in the widgets right here. So all of these are the United States dollar. Now let's go to data source. So Keywords Everywhere primarily shows you keyword level data from the Google Keyword Planner. So all of the keyword level data is coming from the Google Keyword Planner. But there are some instances where some search queries, such as banned terms and misspellings that the Google Keyword Planner might not have, Keywords Everywhere will then use clickstream data. So right now, Keywords Everywhere is pulling keyword level data for the Google Keyword Planner plus clickstream data. But if you want Keywords Everywhere to only pull from the Google Keyword Planner, you can click on this radio button right here. All right, now enable and disable metrics. So this is where you can toggle on or off the metrics that are shown within the widget. Now keep in mind that disabling these settings will not prevent keyword usage. So if you disable any of these, you will still be using credits. But sometimes you might not want all of these metrics in the widgets. So let's just say, for example, I don't want to look at the trend or the competition. So you can toggle these two off and I'm going to go back to Google. Right now, this is the default. Now I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, the competition column and the trend column are no longer displaying within these widgets. And that also goes for the keywords that are listed in the search bar as well. You don't see any of the trend data or the competition scores in any of these keywords right here. 
Now I'm going to go back to the settings page and toggle them back on. Metrics and highlighting. Now this one is a very helpful one. So you can highlight specific keywords according to whether or not they meet certain criteria, such as a specific search volume, a cost per click, or competition score. So first you can choose from any type of color you want keywords to be highlighted. So I'm gonna leave it as green and you can toggle any of these three options. So I can toggle highlight volume and this is where you can signify what keywords you want keywords everywhere to highlight green according to what you set right here. So I'm gonna put highlight volume to be greater than 500. And let's just say I want to also highlight keywords with a cost per click that's um, greater than 0.5. So I'm gonna type in 0.5. You can also signify a competition score as well, but I'm just gonna leave that as off. So with these settings I put down, Keywords Everywhere will highlight keywords that have search volume greater than 500 and also have a cost per click greater than 50 cents. So let me show you how that looks like. I'm gonna go back to Google and refresh. So immediately you can see this main search term, Nike shoes for men. This is highlighted because it has a search volume greater than 500 and it also has a cost per click greater than 50 cents. And this keyword as well. So Nike men's athletic shoes has a search volume of greater than 500 and also has a cost per click greater than 50 cents. And same with these additional keywords right here. Now, many of these keywords are not highlighted because both criteria that I've selected do not match. So for example, Nike running shoes, it does have a search volume higher than 500, but the cost per click is under 50 cents. So this keyword will not be highlighted. All right, so this is a really great feature to use when you are doing extensive keyword research and trying to find those valuable keywords for your website. Next up is supported websites. So Keywords Everywhere shows you data on all of these websites and you can disable any of the websites where you do not want Keywords Everywhere to show you any data. So this is another great way where you can conserve on credit. So, so let's just say maybe for Bing Search, you don't want Keywords Everywhere to run on Bing Search because you wanna conserve your credits. So I'm gonna to toggle Bing Search off and go to Bing and right now, you can see all of the widgets right here. You can see the keywords and the keyword level data, but let me do a quick refresh and show you how it looks like right now. So as you can see, Keywords Everywhere is not working on Bing Search. So this is a great way to conserve your credits. Now, one thing to note is that the search volume shown on all of these websites is the total number of monthly searches for that search query coming from the Google Keyword Planner, okay? So even with Bing Search, for example, all of that keyword level data is coming from the Google Keyword Planner, even though it's on Bing. Next up is credit usage for widgets. So this is where you can specify what widgets you want to run. So for example, uh, maybe for the long tail widget, I don't want that to run because I wanna conserve my credits. So I'm gonna toggle this off and go back to Google. So before I refresh, this is the long tail keywords widget, right? There are uh, 22 keywords, so 22 credits are being used. But since I toggled this off, this widget will no longer run, so I will be saving 22 credits. So let me do a quick refresh. So here we go. The keywords still display, but the keyword level data does not. So you don't know what the search volume is, uh, the competition score, cost per click, or trend data for any of these keywords in the long tail keywords widget. And lastly, the miscellaneous settings. So this is where you can tweak keywords everywhere to your liking. You can toggle on or off the show find keywords button. So this button is at the very top. So it's this button right here. So if you don't want this button to appear, you can toggle it off and show difficulty metrics and trend charts in Google, YouTube, and Pinterest. You can toggle these off as well. And those are these two widgets right here. Show YouTube advanced metrics. So on YouTube, there are some advanced metrics that do show up like these metrics for all of these YouTube search results. 
and also some metrics in here and also right here as well. So uh, let me uh, quickly toggle that off. Okay, so you can see the metrics for the videos are not appearing. There are less search insights and you do not see the tags on the right hand side as well. Now you can um, click on this red button, show advanced metrics, and you can have keywords everywhere show the advanced metrics for this specific instance. Let me um, toggle that back on. Next up is show all ad keywords button and the show export CSV button. So these ones you can toggle on or off. So these refer to the floating widget on the bottom right hand corner. So it's this one right here. So you can toggle these two buttons on or off. Show metrics in autocomplete suggestion drop downs. Okay, so you can toggle that on or off as well. And that is the metrics that show up in the drop down right here. And then you can also toggle on or off the chart in Google Trends and also for the traffic data and link metrics in the Google SERPs. So these are referring to the metrics that appear for each Google search result. So you can see the link metrics right here and the traffic metrics right here for each uh, organic search result. And you can also toggle on or off the show continue button in ChatGPT. So that continue button is this floating continue button on the top right hand corner. And lastly, location of metrics. So where do you want the metrics to appear? Under the search box or above the search results. So you can choose between these two options. Okay, so those are all of the Keywords Everywhere settings explained. Hopefully you got some value out of this. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.